Oh. Why is it shaped like that? Mm. Just calm it down a little bit. Warm it up on my hand. Oh my. Stop. The first thing that I need to do immediately in this video is put on some lip balm because my lips are so dry. You know what? <laughs> While we're talking, I'm gonna crack this one out, the bite-sized lip balm. What a weird shape for a lip balm. Why is it so big? It's gonna get all over my skin. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally gonna be doing a full face of e.l.f. makeup because e.l.f. is a brand that I've tried a few bits sort of here and there from, but I have never done a full face of e.l.f. I don't think I have anyway. So that is what I'm gonna do today. So there are a couple of bits in here that I did by myself, but the majority of this stuff e.l.f. did actually send me. They sent me like a package with a load of different bits quite a few months ago now, and I just haven't got around to testing it all until now. Also, I don't actually know if you can tell, my face is a bit blotchy. My face has been really itchy the past few days and the only new stuff that I've been using on my skin like consistently for the past few days is Nimya. And I have a feeling it's from that because it's like on my forehead, it's on my cheeks. <sighs> That lip balm that I used at the start, I mean, it feels all right, but the shape of it is just so weird. Like, why would you make a lip balm this big? I'm gonna put on this one, which is the Ride or Die lip balm. And this one is in Just Peachy. I'm not kidding. It is actually the hardest lip balm I have ever tried to squeeze out in my life. It is so solid and it does look slightly tinted. Um, Oh my god, it smells and tastes like Haribo peaches. I like that, but it's just really hard to get out and it is very, very slightly tinted, but barely any, but that feels really nice. Mmm. So I'm gonna start with primer. This one is the Mint Melt Primer. I have actually tried this in a previous video, so have a little look back on my channel. It's in a dupes video and I tested this compared to the Milk Hydro Grip. Elf obviously have their putty primers as well, but again, I have tried those in like a testing viral TikTok makeup video. So I'm gonna use this one, which is the Jelly Pop Dew Primer. It looks like this. I haven't really heard anything about it, but I did a quick Google and people are saying that it's a really sticky primer. So I'm very intrigued because I love a sticky primer. What's the other thing in here? Glow Stick Illuminator. Hmm. Oh, it is very, very sticky. It's like stringy. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the NYX. Um, oh my God, what's my favorite NYX primer called? Honey Dew Me Up. It's that kind of texture actually, but this one's a lot thicker. Oh my God, it is really sticky. It smells like watermelon, which I don't think my skin is particularly enjoying, but <gasps> wait, I need to put on a little bit more because I didn't quite reach all of my face. Oh my God though, it is honestly, that is the stickiest primer I have ever experienced. I just need to make sure that it's on like all parts of my face so that it doesn't go weird. I'm not gonna lie. It feels like I have glue on my face. I love these kind of primers. It feels quite similar actually to the Milk Hydro Grip, just even more sticky. Let me just turn the brightness down. Is that any better? Hopefully that's a bit better. Yeah, my skin looks amazing. We have then got the famous Camo CC Cream. I have got the shade Light 220. And this is a full coverage, natural finish, color correcting CC cream. It's got SPF 30 in it. And I have actually tried this before. I tried it ages ago because I was planning on doing this video sooner. And I wanted to sort of test how long it lasted. And I tested it in a vlog, which I think was the vlog where I also tested viral TikTok food or something. It was like a trip up to London. And it actually held up pretty well. But in terms of the coverage, I'm gonna do half of the brush and half of the sponge. Because this is one of the e.l.f. brushes. It's actually the putty primer applicator brush. It's got like a little scoop on the end. And then I've got this. Why is it shaped like that? It is the longest sponge I've ever seen. And this is called the Camo Concealer Sponge, which is supposed to be like used with their concealer. It's actually really soft and squishy. This is kind of supposed to be a dupe for the It Cosmetics CC cream, I think. However, it definitely doesn't have as much coverage as the It Cosmetics one. Let me just try with this weird looking sponge. Yeah, you know what? Over the top of this primer, I wouldn't use a brush because it kind of drags a little bit because it is so sticky, I think. These kind of sticky primers work best if you use a sponge so that it's not like moving them around too much underneath. Ooh. But when using a sponge, this actually looks like a winning combination. 
I think my skin looks really nice. Mm. I actually really like this. I do think that it is worth the hype. My skin looks very glowy. You know what, this sponge is actually really nice. Next up, we have got their famous camo concealers. I have again tried these before. I actually think I prefer the hydrating camo concealer than the original. This is still a nice concealer and it's got really good coverage. The only thing is I do find it dries a little bit too quick. They do have quite a lot of shades, but so many of the shades look really similar. This one is called Medium Peach. Sorry, but in what world is this shade medium peach? That's more like a light sand. And then medium beige is this one. If anything, this one looks more like a medium peach. But I'm gonna use the hydrating camo concealer and I've got the shade light sand in this. I did actually use this in my testing more dupes video where I compared this to the Too Faced concealer. I definitely still prefer the Too Faced, but because it's got more coverage and it's actually got more product as well, so it will last for ages, but this is still a nice concealer, you know? Elf has come a long way. I remember buying some stuff from Elf. I made an order off of their website and I got their stippling brush. I got their flat kabuki brush, which at the time was like all the rage. And I got one of their palest nude lipsticks. It was like a matte nude lipstick that literally looked like foundation. And I wore it all the time and it was awful. That was when I was about 14. They had some good stuff from the start, but that lipstick, don't know why it was popular, don't know why I bought it, don't know why I wore it, but their brushes are actually really good quality. But yeah, the concealer's really, really nice. It's not extreme full coverage, but I would still say it's it's got medium to full coverage. <gasps> Surely not. This box has been sitting there for how long, and I've only just realised that there's no face powder. <laughs> such an idiot. I thought this was a powder, but it's just their putty primer. Do I own an e.l.f. face powder? I don't think I do. I'm really sorry guys, I've been an idiot, but if anyone has an e.l.f. face powder that you would recommend, please let me know. This is one of the things that I have been the most excited to try. It is their putty bronzer because I tried the putty blushes and I actually really liked them. They're one of the better cream blushes that I've actually tried from the drugstore because a lot of the time they're too oily. It's called... Honey Drip. Okay, Elf. They've got a pretty good shade range. And they seem to range from pretty light to pretty dark. Hmm. They made their brush perfectly fit in it. I quite like that. I've got no idea how pigmented this is going to be. I should probably use a smaller brush actually to paint it on and then blend it out with this, but it's too late now. Promising start. Mmm. <laughs> Why did I just sound like Yoda? Mmm. Message from the dark side there is. Did anyone have that ringtone? Like years and years and years ago. Definitely brought that down a bit too low, but. Does anyone have a recommendation for a really good drugstore cream bronzer and a drugstore cream blush? Because when I was filming my drugstore favorites of the year video, I was missing things from those categories. It's going a little bit patchy on my forehead, but I think it could be because my forehead's really dry at the minute. You know what? The finish of this is really nice and I do like it, but it's just not very pigmented. So I'm like really swirling my brush in there. I think it maybe it could be something to do with the undertone as well. Like it's a little bit cool toned for me. I tend to go for things that are like a little bit warmer with my bronzer. I don't know, I think I quite like it. I do think I quite like it, but it's just not what I'm used to. Like it's taking a little bit more sort of work. Ooh, it's a really good shade for nose contour though. Oh yeah. I think for the price, it's pretty decent. It's six pounds. So next up I've got cream blush and this is the putty blush. And these are the ones that I did test in that like viral TikTok makeup video, I think. And I've got the shade Palmer's and blush pate. Tasty. This one doesn't have a shade name on it, but it's just the like pink pink one. Shall I use the pink one today? Because uh, spoiler, I do use the peach one in my upcoming video whenever that's gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be up before or after this one. So I'm just swirling my brush in there. Puts the pink one on my face and immediately wants to use the peach one. <laughs> I might mix them, but you know what? This is actually a really pretty pink color. It reminds me of that sort of Kylie Jenner-ish Kylie Jenner-ish kind of color that uh, was viral on TikTok again a few months back. That is actually a really pretty pink blush. I'm just gonna mix in a tiny bit of the peach one. I say a tiny bit, I'm now covered in blush. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it out. <laughs> blend out my under eyes again and just like blend over it. To just calm it down a little bit. For my powder, I'm just gonna use the Revolution one because I'm an idiot and I don't have an elf one and oh my God, why? Also, if you guys are a fan of e.l.f., let me know what your favourite product is from them. Is there anything that I'm missing here that I definitely need to try? I've just put on 
a little bit of powder bronzer and then i actually have this powder blush which is called bright pink slash rose this is just one of their classic um products with like the clear packaging this was what elf was like back in the day it's just a matte pink blush oh this color is beautiful Again, this reminds me of that Kylie Jenner sort of shade. It may be cheap looking, but it actually is really nice. Okay, fine, we'll try the highlighter stick. So this is their glow stick, the Jelly Pop glow stick. It also smells like watermelon, which is kind of weird. So I'm just gonna warm it up on my hand. Oh my... No, no, I'm not gonna like it. I'm not gonna like it. I just know that I'm not gonna like it because it literally looks like lip balm and it feels like lip balm. I'll do it for the video. It barely has any colour. Also, oh my god, I've just got to show you my Christmas nails. Okay, they've had their moment. <laughs> the real question is, will this disturb my makeup underneath? So far it hasn't, but I'm being very careful. If you move this around at all, it is probably going to just lift off your foundation. And don't get me wrong, it actually looks really pretty, but I can't, I just can't get on with these like sticky, balmy highlighters when they don't dry down because then your face is just sticky. It definitely gives that glossy sort of glow. I would not use that again. <laughs> if that's your thing, then cool, but it's not mine. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna set that in place with one of these little mini bite-sized palettes. And I'm gonna take this shade here. It is technically an eyeshadow, but that looks like a beautiful highlighter color. Like, look at that. This one is in Cream and Sugar. Thing is, I don't wanna move it around too much. So I'm literally just sort of like packing it over the top. Oh my God. Okay, the combination of those two, that is intense. It almost looks a bit sort of like gray. Oh no, it does almost look gray. Okay, that is too intense. That is way too much. And I'm meeting James's grandma for the first time today. No, 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 no. Don't use that as eyeshadow. It's got a like gray undertone. I mean, don't use that as highlighter. So next up, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And I've actually got two different things to use. So like I said, I've got loads of these little like bite-sized palettes and there's actually a bite-sized brow palette. So they do them in different shades and this is the taupe one. But I do also have a brow pencil and this is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the shade neutral brown and it looks like a really good color so i might use both of these and see how it goes it's got quite a big nib so like as soon as that is no longer sharp it's going to be quite thick so these two are the waxes and then these two are the powders let's start off with the sort of tinted wax am i gonna regret this maybe Okay, so it's only very slightly tinted. It's a nice shade though. So I'm gonna try the darker powder. The lighter one I think will be too light. This one does look a bit more warm though, so I'm kind of scared. I don't really tend to use brow powder that much, but these ones actually seem pretty nice. It's just, you know, not something that I would tend to go for these days. Mostly because it just is so much more time consuming than just using a pencil or a pen. Also on the other eye, I'm actually gonna try the brow pencil. Okay. Okay, thank God. Just looking at this, I thought it was gonna be really, really soft, but it's actually quite a sort of waxy pencil almost. You have to press quite hard for it to come out, which is good because if this was too soft, it would just smush everywhere. I've been able to draw in some little brow hairs at the front there. I think it's a pretty good color, but I do just wish that it was a bit slimmer. Yeah, I definitely prefer the pencil side. It just looks a lot more natural. And I prefer the color of it as well. I mean, can you tell that I've got two mismatched eyebrows? It's fine, I'm gonna be wearing a hat. <laughs> For eyeshadow, I've obviously got the little mini eyeshadow palettes. I've also got some of their no budge shadow sticks. And I've got their like liquid eyeshadows and there's some glitters here as well. So let me just have a look, little look at these shades. So the no budge shadow stick, this one is in the shade rose, oh, rose gold. Mm. Ooh, looks quite nice, but I'm just very lightly gonna set my eyelids first so oh okay this is the shade perfect pearl oh it's very 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 like sort of creamy let's try the rose gold even though i wasn't gonna i'm just gonna put this all over my eyes sort of like a base to see how it works oh why is that so underwhelming on my hand it looked really pretty yeah, what the heck but on my eyes just like not showing up anywhere near as much Ow, it's also kind of painful. <laughs> no budge. Should we see if it budges on my hand? Oh. <laughs> okay. You know what? Actually, it is quite nice. I'm just going to blend it out ever so slightly. This is one of the e.l.f. blending brushes for eyes. It's clean and brand new. I'm going to try putting the pearl one sort of on the inner part of my eye, just here. I don't know, they're just a bit underwhelming. 
do you guys think are they underwhelming i feel like they're underwhelming maybe this would be nice for like the just the very inner corners let's take one of these little palettes so i've got truffles oh i like that name rose water cream and sugar i'm not gonna go for this one because it is quite like cool toned and more like purpley tones i'm gonna use both of these so let's go into truffles first and i'm just gonna take the sort of warm brown almost like transitiony sort of color blending pretty nicely actually i mean it's quite a light color but it's doing what i wanted it to it's not like the most miraculous eyeshadow that i've ever used but it's fine it did the job okay yeah let's take this dark brown color oh i'm a bit scared and i'm just gonna put this on like the very outer corners not too sure what i'm trying to do here i was trying to do like a smoky wing but it hasn't quite gone to work it's kind of stuck in a couple places like where the cream eyeshadow was like just here I'm trying to do this sort of like smoky cool wing thing but it's not quite gone to plan but i'm just going to go back in with some of that lighter brown shade from the other palette put this over the top of it it looks better on this eye this is more of what i was going for it's not the end of the world i'm going to take an actual angled brush and the dark brown and just sort of draw on the wing and neaten it up by the way the cream eyeshadow underneath has definitely kind of creased. So I wouldn't say that those are budge proof. God, is this the type of makeup that I really want to be wearing to go and meet James's grandma? Probably not. I mean, these eyeshadows are kind of working quite nicely. I do quite like them. I like the dark brown color. Next up, I'm taking the two shimmers from Cookies, I oh, they said Cookies and Cream. Cream and Sugar. And I'm gonna take the gold first. I mean, they're both gold, the darker gold. Let's put some of that here. Oh, wow. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Oh my god, that is actually so beautiful. That's stunning. They're a really soft texture. Like, they're really, really beautiful, actually, those little mini, mini palettes. And then I'm going to take the lighter shade, which is the one that I used on my face, which was definitely a mistake. But, oh, on the eyes, it is so gorgeous. You really done. Yep. Yeah, I actually really like these, guys. I really like those. I do have a little bit of fallout on my face. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I don't want anything too heavy on my lower lash line because it's quite heavy on my upper lash line. Let's take one of these glitters. The two that are calling my name are 24 karat gold and comet but then i've also got this mini one that came in the advent calendar which is called flirty birdie. This one looks like the most like glittery out of all of them. It looks gorgeous. It actually looks like the Steeler one. Oh. Oh my god, guys. James's grandma is going to think I'm so extra, but that is literally almost exactly the same as the Steeler one that I have. I think it's the Steeler kitten glitter, if I am correct. This one is so similar. That is stunning. Yeah, wait guys, I've just, oh, I've just dug Steeler's Kitten Karma out of my drawer. That is the Steeler one. The Elf one is a tiny bit more pink and fair enough, the Steeler one does have a slightly higher percentage of glitter, but they are so similar. Before I do my mascara, I am gonna use the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. Look at this. It has got such a fine mist. For a drugstore setting spray, I have never seen such a fine mist and I'm so excited. Why isn't every setting spray like that? It smells sort of herbal-y. It definitely gives your skin a bit more of a glow. And honestly, I just love the feeling of that so much because it is such a fine mist. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more powder because I need my makeup to sort of last all day. But oh my God, the, the eyes turned out so nice in my opinion. I have never tried an e.l.f. mascara in my life. And this is their Big Mood mascara. It says it's got an hourglass brush. So, purple packaging. Brush looks all right, but it is quite big. And it does look like quite a wet formula, which scares me a little bit. Doesn't look like there's much on the brush. Yes, give us nothing. Big mood mascara. More like big disappointment. Please, I want some volume. Let's just keep adding it. Nope, 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 no. It's just getting clumpy and it's not even giving me volume. And it's really wiggle it. Really wiggle at that root. 
This is just frustrating. My biggest pet peeve is mascaras that have got a massive brush and they think that a massive brush is gonna give you massive lashes and it just doesn't. It's just awkward to use, it's messy and I can deal with that if it actually gives me good volume and good length but it's just not giving me volume. I'm so sorry everyone. Come back to my Maybelline Sky High because that one gets a no from me. Finally, we've got some lip products and I've got some plumping lip glosses and these sheer slick lipsticks and i've actually seen this one recently on tiktok as a dupe for i think it's the clinique black cherry is it clarins or clinique i can't remember there's some tiktok lipstick at the moment that's going viral and supposedly this elf one is a dupe for it it's like a dark colored lipstick but it only comes out with like a slight tint and then yeah i've got these lip plumping glosses which look really nice i've got three different shades there's like an orange one a very pale pink and then this slightly sparkly nude pink which i might go for that i want to see sort of how pigmented they are so let's test this it looks very dark i'm just gonna put it straight on my lips oh my god it is picked up on every single dry bit of skin okay the color is actually really beautiful Actually, once I sort of blended it out, it's not too bad, but you need to exfoliate. Formula feels absolutely gorgeous. It is so like balmy and slippery and it doesn't feel sticky. It actually just feels really nice, just minus my dry lips. Then I'm gonna try this plumping gloss. Let's see if it's got any sort of color to it. This is in the shade Mauve Lady. Oh, it smells good. It smells vanilla almost. Oh my god, my lips are already starting to tingle. So you can see on my hand, it definitely has like some colour to it. It's not like a full pigment colour, it's slightly sheer, but it's enough to sort of give you a bit of definition of your lips. And it is starting to tingle already, and I quite like the feeling. It's not cinnamony at all, which is good, because I'm not particularly that big of a fan of like cinnamony plumping glosses. I really like that. I'm actually quite impressed. I think the final look has come together really nicely. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Um, It's nothing that's sort of like out of my comfort zone, but the eyes I think look really pretty. They're like festive, but in a subtle way, you know? Yeah, I think I'm quite happy with the overall look. There were a couple bits that were a bit sort of hit and miss. I think my favorite things from this video were the cream blush, the CC cream. I really like that. The setting spray. I absolutely love like the mist on it is so nice if you guys have got any questions for me please leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day and i might answer one in my next video i'm just going to answer one quickly now by the way the reason that i asked you to add the hashtag question of the day on the end is because it comes up in blue in the comments so it's easier for me to find them this question is from emily grace and she said love your videos so much thank you please could you do a what's on my iphone or post screenshots of your home screens on twitter i'm obsessed with how other people organize their phones you might be obsessed with how other people organize their phones in which case you would not want to see my phone <laughs> mine is the least organized i have notifications on like all of my different apps there is no organization but i will show you first page second page third page fourth page fifth page uh, my main ones are on the second page and they do have some sort of organization like i've got my social tab i've got like a shopping one i've got entertainment uh that's about the extent of my organization i've had my phone screen like my lock screen the same way since i was a teenager and every time i get a new phone i just like update it and like keep it exactly the same how it was because that's sort of where my muscle memory is now and I don't really like change and so I just leave it as it is. It works for me. I can find everything. That's my lock screen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Right, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if I don't see you before the new year, happy new year. And yeah, I just hope you guys have some lovely time off with your family if you're able to and um, you know, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a great day. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I just hope you have an amazing couple of weeks. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye!